Sarah was practicing for this. This is uh, John Cho's school, correct? Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm really looking forward to this. I, you know, female fights are always vicious. Normally just vicious. They're the ones that the audience likes to watch. We try to make sure we book as many female fights as possible. Nice little clean break there. Yeah, setting up the nice. jab. Setting up those jabs. Fires a straight right behind it. This is interesting. Ileana put in here, uh, I love you, Mom. I dedicate this fight to Bobby Tao. <laughs> We'll see Bobby Tao fighting later on on the card. Very nice. Good clinch work there. <laughs> Her new hobby, exercise. <laughs> wow, that's funny. Good leg kick and a jab there. Nice, nice diving board right hand. Yep, Sarah yeah. comes back in. Good leg checks. Oh, good right straight hand. right hand. But you're right, those leg kicks are clean. She's catching yeah. them on the outside. Sarah's blocking those leg kicks really no problem. Just got to work on that hand. Marco's giving them some uh, rules there. Good straight jab, good body shot. Oh, I love those good exchange those left body kicks. One of my favorite kicks in the world, left to the liver. Sarah wanted to give a shout out to Valerie Contero, said thank you for all the support, and without you, I would not be able to be out here doing this. You know, a lot of times it takes the support of your family and friends to help you make sure that you can get out here because you're in the gym a lot and, you know, it takes a lot of work. You know how it is, Jason. It's kind of hard to keep a relationship when you're out there <laughs> trying to do your work, too. <laughs> there is a lot of sacrifice being made on all sides. You know, I spent the better part of 11 years in competitive martial arts. And it is hard to have a relationship and hard to find time to do a lot. Especially when you got to work on the side. Yeah, uh, these guys have you know jobs and then they have you know family and friends they want to see them, and then they have to find time to get into that gym and they got to do their their running, their training, eating right, sleeping right. I mean, there's a lot to fighting that the average person doesn't realize is it's actually a full time job at the pro level. Yeah, uh, at the amateur level, you're learning, you're having fun, you, you, know, you want to train as much as you can, but a lot of times the amateur fighters train side by side with pro fighters, and therefore are training 30, 40 hours a week when you add everything up, counting food and food prep and such. A lot going on. I have a lot of respect for any of these fighters that get into this ring. Because, I mean, for the, the dedication, the sacrifice, I know a lot of people will say, I could do it, I could do it. But, you know, very rarely do you see them out there running, conditioning. Good inside work yeah, from Sarah, Sarah there. Sarah's taking control of that right, right there. Yeah. Nice control. Nice control. First round, I think I'd give it to Lily. And this round so far, I'm, Sarah's got pretty good control over it. It's always fun taking a guess at the end of the fight, figure out who, who won what based on our decision compared to what the judges are What the judges are seeing, yeah. Out. Sometimes uh, they see something that we don't see. Good right hand there. A nice counter run. These girls are going after each other. Very, very competitive fight. Very competitive. Good inside work. Good knee, good overhand right. Oh, there's a nice there knee. Is. What Sarah's doing, she's keeping competitive. She keeps firing back, firing back. Pressing forward, a couple knees there. A little trip throw action. Now, when a fighter throws another fighter down, is that an extra point? Do they get extra benefits on the judge, or is that just more to get the other fighter tired? Well, 
in Sancho kickboxing, which incorporates throws, you get you score points. In any of these styles, styles that we're representing tonight, today, tonight, no, it's designed to wear the opponent down. You know, every time you drop an opponent, be it from a punch, a kick, a trip, a throw, it takes something from you. It wears you out. It's demoralizing to have to pick yourself up off the floor. You know, um, judging, you know, I personally, if I'm judging, I, you know, if it's a close fight, I mean, that's going to stick out of my head that you just drew, drew your opponent around like a ragdoll. So, as much as it doesn't give you points in the judge's eye, it can show, show control and dominance. I like that philosophy. I mean, you know, sometimes you do want to throw your opponent down, slow them down, get their timing off. And, you know, which is totally illegal here in, um, in amateur kickboxing, but I've always been supportive of one good, good throw or a hug <laughs> in a fight, you know, and you land on them. Take that gas tank out of your opponent. And nothing wrong with it in my eyes, but yeah. Here we oh, go. Nice all right. leg. Oh, right off the go. Right off the bat. Both of these girls are here to fight. We're gonna go all three rounds. This could be a deciding round here. Yeah, leaning towards one and one round wise. That, so. That's where I'm at right now. So I think this is gonna be the round that's gonna tell me who's gonna win. Nice, nice punch right there. Nice exchange there. These ladies have not slowed down this whole fight. In yeah. fact, it seems like they've they've shifted gears in round three and are actually putting the pressure on. Nice kick combo. You can see they're a little tired, but not too bad because they're not snapping the punch, but they are getting the punch off. Oh, <laughs> Sarah, just, as soon as you say go, that punch was flying. That punch was already moving. Nice leg kick exchange there. Got hand one to Marcos for, one. for being a big man. He got some skill on getting out of the way of the Yeah, punches. he does. <laughs> <laughs> nice right hand there. Nice exchange. You know, the punch volume of this fight is amazing. I'd like to see punch counters at this. In this yeah, fight. that would be nice. Punches yeah. have been thrown just around the loan. Nice count. Nice right hand. The uh, punches are coming in solid, but those kicks are slowing down a little. But it takes a lot of energy to throw a kick. Yeah. And those, especially as his later rounds. Oh, oh big looping punches. Got her, yeah. Yeah. Oh, beautiful straight right. Both girls are just, just leaving it all out there. Ten seconds. End of it. He's going to decide it. Right here. And that's it. That's it. Good job. Both fighters should keep their hands up. That was three great rounds, six great minutes of nonstop action right there. Both of those ladies going after each other. Lily going out there, getting the crowd fired up, trying to get that last bit of um, edge with the judges. Always a smart move. I've judged before, Jason. You know, afterwards, you already write down your score. They can go up in the showboat. You have to hand it in already. So, you know, the real, the most impressive part for the judge is that last 10 seconds, that last 30 seconds of the fight, because that stays fresh in your mind on what's happened. The very beginning of the fight, you kind of, you know, you're watching the fight, you're paying attention, but that last 30 seconds is really the key that you leave an impression in that person's mind that says, okay, I'm gonna score you a 10. I like the last 30 seconds. I don't like that last 10 seconds of a round. No, it's the last 30 I, seconds usually that I'm watching. I don't like that last 10 seconds. I've had rounds stolen from me that last 10 seconds. Oh, man, so so annoying. You know, whoop a guy's butt the whole round. He comes out, last 10 seconds, like a firecracker, and steals around, and you're wondering, like, how they come up short on points. Yeah. All right, we're going to send it up to the announcer, Adriano, and get the results. Judge number one scores about 29, 28. Judge number two scores about 30, 27. Judge number three scores about 30, 27.
and the winner by unanimous decision.